hello and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking watch so today I am gonna do a review on my Real Techniques brushes if you've seen my brushes I've bought in Trinidad video then you know that I am evidently a lover of Real Techniques brushes um, if you're wondering where I've been I've just been a bit busy um, I was doing some driving lessons doing some little jobs um, tutoring as well as I went to this retreat called LTI Leadership Training Institute that was held by Campus Crusade for Christ from Thursday to Sunday and that was a great time I had a really amazing time and the theme was at the center of it all where Jesus really emphasized just how important it is to have Jesus at the center okay so I am just going to show you all the brushes that I have from Real Techniques and um, a review of them and what I use them for. So Real Techniques brushes was created by this girl right here, Samantha Chapman, right there, of Pixie Woo, a YouTuber, well, big beauty guru. And so the, the bristles are made of soft Taclon bristles. So, and they, they're really soft when you feel it. Oh gosh. My sister would just, well, before she got her set, she would just come and feel my brushes and just, just play with them because they're just so soft. And her brushes are amazing. And you can get them in Trinidad. How awesome is that? Can you feel my excitement? Can you feel my excitement through the camera? I love these brushes. And I can, I can go on and on about these brushes, but it needs to be a kind of short video. Um, excuse my hair. It's not in the best condition, so it's in a top knot. This is usually how I wear my hair if it's not loose and down. So uh, a lot of you have been asking me where, well a lot of you, a lot of my friends have been asking me, you know, where I got my Real Techniques brushes. Some people don't know where Starlight is. So you can find Real Techniques brushes at an Ulta or Amazon on Amazon.com or in Trinidad you can buy them in Starlight Maraval or Starlight Dega Martin. It's in Dega Martin, it's in the Starlight Shopping Plaza and the pharmacy style like drugs you can get it in there but they have more brushes in the Maraval branch which is the big gorgeous lovely building that has like everything makeup and beauty wise so yeah you can check them out there and they have the one in Maraval has more brushes than the one in Dega Martin excuse the boots that's like I'm filming right in front of our porch so that's why they have I think every one except the limited edition duo fiber holiday collection and that's limited edition they probably couldn't get any or something I don't know but they don't have them so I'm just gonna show you the ones that I have and what I use them for so uh, let's talk about the packaging the core collection comes in a box like this it has four brushes in it my sister has a set so I'm just using her set to show you what the case looks like the case looks like this and it has a little velcro thing that you can just whoop. it's a great travel case so the core collection consists of four brushes the buffing brush the what does it say detailer brush the pointed foundation brush and the contour brush all of the packaging looks like this it's clear on the front so you can see the brush that you have inside and it has her on the back with um, just describing what the brush is like and what it does and then telling you the website you can check out for tutorials of how to use the brush or brushes depending on the case the first set that I got was the core collection and that comes with four brushes as I just showed you this first one is the buffing brush and as you can see the lettering has kinda completely faded off because I use it so often this is great for foundation but what I love about the Real Techniques brushes is that they're so versatile. So I can use this brush for like three different things or more. It's great for foundation. It's perfect. Oh, it just applies it so flawlessly. And I also have used it for blush. You can use it for contouring. Uh, you can also use it for powder. Like I like to put some powder on it when I just want to get right underneath my eyes or like this way. I've even used this to apply a highlight sometimes. So very good brush. The next one is the detailer brush. I just have used it for um, lipstick, lip liner, things like that. I, d I generally don't, I don't use this brush too often because 
I don't have small lips, so I don't, so I don't really need that kind of precision. My sister has small lips, so she does use this often for applying her lipstick. Some people, I've heard some people use it for concealer. That's what in the video she says she uses it for concealer. You can use it, you know, around the sides of your nose and if you want to do any spot correcting. This is good for that. Second one is the pointed foundation brush. It looks like this. And it is... I love this brush. But I don't use it for foundation. It's really small. My face is kind of big. It's kind of small for foundation. I use it for concealer under my eyes or in my brows when I'm doing my eyebrows. But I use this for uh, contouring sometimes because the contouring, because the bronzing powder that I have from e.l.f. is a bit, uh, uh, it's a bit too light so when I put it on uh, I really need something to pick up the product so this is perfect for, to get that line of contour. And then we come to the, this is called the contour brush. You can use this for contouring, it's probably really good for contouring but I like a more precise thinner one which is why I use my e.l.f. small tapered brush for contouring and then um, I use something else to feather it out and blend it out. This is probably really good for blending it out, I just generally don't use it for contouring, I use it for highlighting because it's perfect for the tops of my cheekbones and just to get in that area where you want to highlight. I use gold deposit to highlight most times so this is really good for that and the Taclan bristles really pick up that mineralized skin finish. and. I love this brush. I also use it for powder to set underneath my eyes as well as um, if I want to blend out concealer. So again, another versatile brush. The next one I have is my powder brush. It is so soft and big and nice. I just use this to either set my makeup with a setting powder or um, if I just want to take some of my Studio Fix and just gently set my foundation after. It is ugh, the first thing you will notice if when you touch one of these brushes is that they're so soft. The individual, the big individual brushes come with a kind of wide bottom thing so that it can stand up on its own. This, the one in the core collection, is as you can see the difference. This one is straight and this one is more, um, what's the word? It's kind of like a bell bottom jean kind of thing. Also the expert face has that similar effect at the bottom there. So yeah, this brush is just a very good powder brush and it's big and nice and fluffy. This is the Expert Face Brush and this is great for foundation. It's more firm than the buffing brush. Let me just compare the two for you. As you can see there it's completely all the way the the ferrule is completely round all the way around but this one it's a little bit pinched there and so it gives you a little bit more of a um, oval than circular finish compared to this one. So see that? See that? There. This is really good. I really like it. Again, it applies foundation flawlessly. I've been kind of using this a little bit more than the buffing brush, but I still use the buffing brush if I see any harsh, if I see any lines, like definite lines, after I apply my foundation, just to it do exactly what the brush says it does, buff in. Then I have the setting brush, which is really perfect for setting the under eye concealer. You just put a little bit of powder in there and it sets, it, it's perfect for setting under eye, under your eyes after you put concealer on. I also have used it for highlighting because it also is pretty much um, perfect for this area and this area. So again, perfect for that. I'm just going to compare it to the, set it, the contour brush. Uh, it's a little bit pinched here. Uh, but they're pretty much this is pretty much a smaller version than this but it's, it's just a little bit less dense but that's pretty much all and it's smaller yeah and it's pink I love that it's pink because all the other brushes that I had were brown and I really wanted a pink one so and I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get the stippling brush because uh, it's a bit small and I already have stippling a stippling brush that I don't use too often so I don't think I would use the other one that often so and the blush brush is a bit too big I think it's good for powder I heard that it's good for powder but I have brushes that will do well for the things that it could do so I don't want to waste my money on that being a little bit thrifty here uh, this brush the color eyeshadow brush is very 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 similar for the the shader brush from Real Techniques 
So if you don't want to pay um, 36 or 38 dollars for the Real Techniques brush, you can get this one. It's just as soft. It's a, this one is a little bit more firm, a little slightly, slightly the slightest amount bigger, uh, but it's it's a very good dupe, I would say, slightly dupe for the shader brush from Real Techniques. So, and this is 16.95 compared to 38. So you know, TT. I'm talking TT here. This is from the, the starter set. It's purple. Woo. So I have the three different colors now. Yay. My best friend just gave me this one because she said she really doesn't use this at all, but I use this for my brows. So it's just so perfect for just like when I want to do the ends or if I want to just add some powder in some, in some sparse areas. It's perfect for that. I could probably also use this for lip liner or for applying that kind of uh, ombre effect if I want to do ombre lips. Again, a versatile brush. So all in all, I would say the Real Techniques line is amazing. If you love makeup and you love brushes and you want a good set of brushes, good quality brushes, is, those are really important for um, your makeup collection. I would completely, strongly recommend these. I have, I've seen no fault in them, even the way that they are made. The, this kind of end part is not all the way up here, it's, comp it's all the way down and it, there's no kind of popping out, there's no kind of the ferrule coming off with the wood part, there's no wood part in this, you know, it's, they're really well made, they're great quality and they're affordable. You really can't go wrong with these brushes, so go get them, go get them now. <laughs> That's it for me today. Keep sending in those requests. Uh, I have a list of request videos that I've seen from people. I will be getting to them. It's just that, woo, life is just busy. And I always find myself busy no matter what I'm doing, no matter if I'm on vacation, if I'm on a gap year, a year off like I am right now, I'm always doing something. So I will try to get to them as, as soon as I can, but yeah, expect lots of new things coming up and also um, an empties video soon to come and some collaborations. So look out for that and thank you again for watching. Thank you so much. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye. See you in the next video.